The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us. We have the uh, Dow Industries up 65, NASDAQ is up 40, S&P is up 15 and a half. Gold contract down 80 cents, 12.80 an ounce. We get silver up three cents, 14 dollars 44 cents. Gold did reject lower price out here this morning. It's going to be interesting to see uh, if it can catch a bid. Light sweet crude uh, flat, not 58 dollars 99 cents. Now light sweet crude rejected lower price out here yesterday. We had the uh, API numbers out last night. We'll get EIA this morning. Yes, um, I believe so. 11 a.m. for uh, we get natural gas and oil. I believe today. Uh, yeah, with yeah. the holiday, right? You got it. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note. As well, 10-year note down 10, 10 ticks, 125.10. 30-year down 16, 152.08. They continued higher yesterday, folks. They had the price, they had the volume. They're pulling back today with anemic volume. So they continue to want higher price, lower yield. Uh, King dollar, King dollar up 115 ticks, trading 98, 150. King dollar is going after that high once again. Uh, each and every time we get up to that high, volume dies. Each and every time that we lay back down, volume dies. Uh, the battle continues in King dollar. Euro. The euro is at 111 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at 109.87. And the pound is trading out here at 126 to 1 US dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim, as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, if you want to understand option, option strategies, futures, great show, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, every trading day. Kevin and his team, they set up the strategies. Today, we're going to be taking a ride in Uber. Uber's coming out with their numbers after the close. Oh, boy, we'll some see volatility. How much, we'll see how much they're going to lose. <laughs> yeah. And if you haven't test-driven yet, folks, the Thinkorswim platform, it's an outstanding platform. Come over to our website at TFNN, hit the banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money and go trade right along with Kevin and his team. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How's everybody doing? Good morning, Kevin. Doing good. It's a quick week. You know, this is this is like the weeks that you forget what day it is. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. You know, guys, here's the feeling, and here's the twisted mind of a trader. How can a Dow, Dow down 200 feel like an up day? Yes. Right? <laughs> it's because midday it was down 400, and it rallied back 200 points. It, it, down 200 fell up. <laughs> you know, and that's the kind of the twisted mind that a trader has. That, if Kevin, you this, nibbled this, on him down 400, this, this, it was no, like you watched a 200-point rally. Yeah, there's so, no doubt, man. Last night when uh, I was doing the second hour, that's exactly how I started. I said, well, you know, <laughs> guess what? There was buying at the close. Oh, for sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that is the, you know, sick, twisted profession that, that we've chosen and how we look at a day like – Starts out down 400 right around yeah. noon Eastern time or 11 Chicago time, and it rallied 200 points from then on. It was pretty pretty good afternoon for trading, actually. No, there, there's no doubt. And, you know, I, I, you know, we'll see if this is just going to be a big consolidation. But you know what? You know, if it is, folks, okay, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's a no. trade is paradise because the, the, the spread is so large in that consolidation, you know, so... You know, the yeah, GDP I mean, came we're, out this morning, still, and, you know, it's like, okay, you man, know. you know, things are still going forward, you know. Right, right. I mean, hey, today's GDP number, another number. Think about this, guys. Here's another number. Strong GDP, stronger than expected, 3.1. Consumer spending, 1.3. And then the two inflationary numbers missed. You know, another strong economy with low inflation. So here we go again with... You know, numbers that show strength in the economy, but also at the same time showing no inflation. Right. You know, it, what's so intriguing here, you know, we get the TAF war, which could be a huge problem. You know, we, we'll find out how that goes. But when I look at, like, where we are right now, it's like, okay, hold it. You know, every time that I've seen big downdrafts, normally stop, something is sticking out like a sore thumb. Like, I mean, in 2007, 2008, you knew that no matter what restaurant you went to, everyone was talking about refinancing, buying boats, buying something else with that. You know what I'm saying? 
And I just don't see something out here right now that can change in a second. Do you know what I mean? Right. That it could be something that, you know, you can get pullbacks, meaning, and yeah, you might, you know, get slower growth, but I just don't see something just yet that can be that, you know, I don't see people over their head on debt. That's no, what I really don't see. No, Tom, I don't either. And think about it. Uh, Tuesday, when Red Book came out, it, you know, it, I'm sorry, Wednesday of this week, Red Book came out, 5.7%. The U.S. consumer, consumer spending in this number that, that we saw today, 1.3%. The consumer is still alive and well. The, the, you know, the consumer confidence numbers, all the forward-looking indicators, a lot of them still look really good. So does that say, can the market sell off 3 4 5%? A absolutely it can. not Sure. Right? So, but I, would I get my heart rate really high in an environment like this? No, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't at all. It's going to be interesting. What I can't quite figure out is that, you know, the dollar is keep going after these highs. But yet, yeah, the bond market wants higher price, and you know that's that's lower interest rates. It's like okay, so as, if you're a fundamentalist, it's like okay, that isn't how that thing's supposed to work, <laughs> you know. But well, you know, Tom, I think personally that so much of what you're seeing, the premium in the U.S. dollar, is from Brexit, okay. and it's from you know what you see with the British pound and the euro and everything they have going on there. How low those currencies are. I think that's put got some serious uh, premium in the U.S. dollar. So that's what I and it's been that way for a while. And you know, Brexit. Let's face it, with with Theresa May resigning, they're no closer to a resolution right. on Brexit. Right. So even though they now they have a hard date, and they have something that looks like they've had a hard date before. So I really think that's keeping premium in, in, in the dollar and keeping it at these high levels. No, I can see that. I can see that. I mean, you know, before the last extension, I mean, Tommy, I, yourself, that's all we were talking about every day for like, right. about six weeks. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, well, and then all of a sudden it's like, it, it's almost like everything else, the debt ceiling and everything else. It seems, everything seems to get kicked down the can and then it's all right. I mean, if I remember anything... Remember, Greece, Greece was supposed to fall apart, and all of a sudden we haven't heard about it in six years. It's like, okay. Yeah, it's amazing. Politicians, not only in the United States, but in Europe, too, they do love deadlines, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> they love the brinksmanship of a good deadline. you got to love it. So what are we going to be talking about today, Kevin? You know, today, you know, even though Uber's coming out with earnings, we don't think that's it's one that you're going to want to trade just yet. We're, we're watching some the volume on Uber, things like that. Costco's got earnings after the bell. Ulta. Oh, nice. Uh, the, the, the beauty oh, uh, Ulta, company. That, that's, and then that's, Gap Stores. Yeah. And Gap, got well, so we, we've ones. got three really good ones yeah. for late in the earnings season that we're going to look at, and, and we're, we're, we're going to cover those, you know, some of the, you know, Costco will be a great trader. We'll look at that real hard. No, no doubt. Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, outstanding program. Kevin, you have a great day, a great weekend, safe weekend, and, of course, we look forward to speaking to you next Tuesday. Thanks for having me on, guys. Have Thank a great you. day. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 60, NASDAQ up 35, S&P's up 14. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 65. Nasdaq's up 39. S&Ps are up 15. And uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities. We'll see if we get any juice in this market out here today. We have uh, Advanced Micro up uh, 30 cents. You got, let's see, Micron Tech is up 62. Uh, Beyond Meat, man, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Uh, up at Buck, that's at $98 right now. Um, monster, monster move uh, coming off that uh, IPO. Verizon. I'm not quite sure what's going on with Verizon. That's... I think they got a downgrade somewhere. Okay, so that's uh, it's not that bad. It's down a buck thirty, but uh, that's actually coming back with uh, some light volume. So oil, we got oil, right? Uh, we got natural gas, right? Natural. Oh, that's right. It's oil's eleven. Okay, that's natural right. gas. Okay. So when we get a Monday holiday, normally for some reason, right, we'll have to get exactly why this breaks down the way it does, but. Uh... Natural gas stays where it is, as in right. Thursdays at 10.30, and oil moves from Wednesday, gets pushed back a day and a half hour. So oil's coming at 11 a.m. today. Uh, closing these down, we'll pull up the natural gas, jump into this contract. So we're looking at the July natural gas, trading 2.57. Um, always a little bit unfortunate when we're not trading on the fives, because that's where these are going to set up, as right. in I already know you're not going to have a contract that has a down and up. Uh, exposure from 257. So you're going to have to choose no matter where we are. 260 is and, where they line up and for. Two pennies and three pennies is a lot in the natural gas yeah, market. Exactly, folks. right? So uh, let's just see where they line up because maybe if you're bullish or bearish bias, you might have a trade in here you, they, that you like. Um, so 260 to the upside, huge out of the money trade, right? I mean, you're two and a half pennies about outside of the money. So that one's going to be the cheap one for seven bucks. And then your bearish one is going to be the one that's kind of much closer to market where you're selling it. You're selling for 28. Now the key here is this is really a bearish trade, right? Yeah. Because you're 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 getting into it at two fifty-seven two. I had to acclimate my brain. The the market is trading two fifty-seven six. So you're selling it four ticks below the market. All right. Yeah. So that's your premium that you're selling it for. Um that you're paying basically for the right to have a max loss of call it thirty bucks of commissions for a max profit of one seventy. Um and, you know, if you almost want, like, some insurance to the upside, if you're really looking for exposure one way or the other, 
you can make that bullish trade. But really, when these set up, I like to point out, you know, really, if you're a bearish trader, that would be the trade right yes. there. You know, as opposed right. to, um, and let's just see where the nudes line up. So that was $28 to the downside for 11 So let's just see where, instead of setting up both, let's see where, see, this is interesting. Let me put on. And you know what? We're ticking around as this is happening. Yeah. I'm going to pull up the 11s again to put them side by side. So the only difference here, here's your 11 a.m. Here's your noon. Now, this is remarkable, They're man. They're ticking the same. Yeah, <laughs> right? What is this going is, This is why you, you should practice on this, folks. Yeah, and yeah. why you'd always want to, like, consider your options, right? It's why This right. is why we go through each one. We, we look at the price. We look at how they're getting priced. Um, look at this. I agree. I'm, my brain's so, trying to say, so are we with, missing something? Is something it, it, going it, on? If you're not watching Tiger TV, folks, what's happening is that the bid and offer is the exact same on the 11 and the 12. So yeah. you're not paying anything for the 12. And they're the same exact price points? The I don't old, think we've ever seen it like that. No, I, I agree. Where I'd almost say, wait a second, is the news coming down, right? But that's, we checked it already. The news is coming down, as in, right. as in the numbers are coming at 1030. Again, right. that's always something you got to be aware of, right? Who knows? They could have been delayed. That's why you want to be used to the premium. We've pulled yeah. it up before, and we said, wait a second, there's no premium no, in this. Totally. And it's been something like this, like a Monday holiday. Right. Oh, hold on, the right. number's not even until tomorrow. Right. Um, but, yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> what, what is going on? So what would we do? Well, you'd close the 11s, because only a sucker would pay the same price yeah. uh, for an 11 for a new. And now let's just see where the 230s line up. Um, now, these are going to have a bigger expansion in terms of you have 50 cents, all right? Um, but realistically, they're not going to make you pay a lot more for the exposure down to 210 versus 240 because the odds that you get a move below 240 by 230 are literally close to zero. Um, so most of this is just the two and a half hours. And even then, man, they're charging you two tenths of a penny to right. hold that contract for two and a half hours extra. Um, not bad, in my opinion, if you're bearish, man. Um, so just pulling it out. So these would be the two you'd really want to take a look at, in my opinion, as in it, if you're bearish, numbers coming down the pipeline. We're 22 ticks below 260, right? We're trading yeah. at 257.8. So 22 of these dollars are basically intrinsic value. So you're really paying five bucks in premium for the noon. Yeah. You're paying seven bucks in premium for the 230. Not bad, man. Not no. bad at all. Um, like, now you got to go ahead. Yep, you got to be right in terms of uh, the direction. You got to be right in for some yeah. volatility. But nonetheless, man, it's not a lot of premium. Let's and see. natural gas been a little bit of a calm market lately compared to Did, to what we was saw. It the June's around, you know. Uh, July, I believe. July, okay. G. Can check back, but I think it was July. G N maybe. There we go. go. And can I just, before you do yeah. it all, I just want to make sure we'll pull it up and pull it back down. Yes, July. Perfect. Okay, Go cool. So, now, th these, are, these are delayed quotes here, folks, just in case. I just want to see. Yeah, and we're pretty close, though, to where we are. Oh, look at this, man. <laughs> so, and that's where, you know, I had mentioned where we, I mean, look at that trading range, right? From, yeah. from 257 to 270 over the span of how far we go back, man, till the middle of April at least. Yeah. Um, so some of that getting priced in, I would assume. No, totally. Yeah. So that's this is interesting, man, because the, you know, it would look to me like 254 is game, you know? I mean, you know, we'll see. You know, you, yeah. had, you had some volume yesterday come in, 151,000, but you were going against 156. So okay. it's like, gave it up today, this morning. Let's just see. Yeah, that thing's sticking out like a sore thumb down here. Hey, we'll see what happens. So that that bearish side doesn't look that bad, man. Um, pretty wild. And I think they're looking for, I just put in here, so this is where they pull up, right? You can put up uh, your whisper number you get yep. to choose. So you think it might be coming down, maybe? Okay. Well, you should get a bigger build. So they're looking for about a build of, is that 100,000, maybe, um, billion cubic feet? Yeah. Yeah. Um, or 100 billion cubic feet, and I put in 145. Good. Because There's, if you're looking yeah, yeah. for a downward move, it right. should be a bigger number, That's bigger right. supply, cheaper prices right. for the same amount of natural gas. Um, so we get the numbers at 1030, man. Let's jump back to the contract one more time. Yeah, so we've been drifting up a little bit, actually, as we've uh, yeah, there's a pop there. been looking at this, because we're now only about 1.6 pennies away from that uh, 260 price point. Um, and let's just see how these line up uh, again. There's your 230. So now you're looking at about 25 bucks. You're looking at about 23. And let's just see if they're still lining up the identical. Uh, and there's your 11. Whoops. There's your 11 a.m. We'll close that. There's your noon. Identical. Look pretty, at that. Pretty remarkable, man. Yeah. Pretty remarkable. Someone, for sure. someone put their wrong finger on the, either the computer or whatever, dude. Because that is. 
you know, that isn't how it's supposed to work. Oh, that's a lot a, of money. Yep. Yeah. So that's where you can take advantage of everything, folks. Yeah, you know? because we're on the side of thinking about buying that, right? Paying the premium. Right. We're going to be the buyers of premium right. for looking for volatility. Well, somebody's on the side that's selling that premium. Right. So who's the person on the side selling the premium saying, I'll sell you the same amount of premium for a half hour of exposure will I do for 90 minutes of exposure? Right. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. The, uh, we'll get those numbers out. Those are the numbers are going to come out in four minutes. Uh, Dow right now is up 73. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 39. S&Ps are up 16. Uh, gold. Gold's uh, bottom line rejected lower price. Silver uh, as well. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to come back right back with those uh, gas numbers. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 72. Oops, That's uh, all right. That's all right. Natural gas. Na so natural gas... Uh, 114. Yeah, so the estimate was about a rise of 100, right? It looks like we went a little bit bigger than we maybe should have. So, But the rise is 114. That should see a pullback in prices, dropping back to the chart. And there you go. A little right. bit of a pullback to the tune of two, two and a half pennies. That's what you see, man. Not bad when you're paying 
half a penny, two tenths of a penny in premium for right. that type of defined risk, and right. you get a jump of we're almost approaching now three pennies. I mean, uh, you came in, you closed that bar. These are five minute bars. We closed the bar that we were looking at at 258.11. We're now more than three pennies below that level. Yeah. Um, so we'll see, but a little bit of action for sure. It's kind of nice in that the way that they were setting up, it was all bearish exposure because it was, uh, you had about two pennies of intrinsic value on those sides and it's not stopping just yet. Let's just see out of curiosity if they're still ticking. Now these are the 11s and noons. And um, they're still ticking identical, <laughs> which is remarkable because you can still make that trade. Let's just say, all right, now it's bearish. Maybe you think it's really going to fall even further, right, right? right? Well, you could still, you could be selling it right here, right? You're risking 60. You go out to noon. Yeah. Um, to make 140, while well, you're risking 60 to make 140 in the same exact trade. Uh, and you got till noon as opposed to 11. So pretty cool. We'll see what shakes out. That is wild. Man. Yeah. No yeah. Doubt. Um, let's see, uh, lumber, L-U-M-B, let's see if I can pull up this lumber. So we got a question, uh, first time in years on the buy side of lumber futures. Let's see if lumber's maybe bottoms here. So lumber, I guess I can bring up July 1st. So, well, okay, so that's 251. Let me pull up. Oh, you, what are you saying, 251? Sorry, I see 306 there. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the, I, I just want to see if I can get a if August you, contract. If you just go to the active contract, that's going to oh, bring there, you always you. to yeah, it. Good, okay. So, okay, so this is the, yeah, this is the July contract. Look at that trash in yesterday. That's what they're saying. Maybe at uh, bottom Wednesday at yeah. that 286. Yeah. So, what happens is that when I see something like this, folks, with that monster volume down there, to me, that wants to get tested. Um, yeah, it's a test of 286 would be pretty good. Let me just pull this back a little bit more. So LB, let me put this on a continuous contract. Commodity. Ooh, look at that move. That's pretty good. So we went from 444 a board foot down to 286. Yeah, pretty, what a move, huh? Look at that. Definitely. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I can see what you're looking at. I mean, I'd let it test those lows again uh, before I jump in there, but I, I can definitely see what you're looking at there. Another question about the metals. Um, if you do get the gold report, it's gonna be an update uh, and as soon as we get off uh, by noon. I like how this thing is set up. What you had out here today is that you got a rejection, and it's not just a rejection out here this morning. You know, what we have is that, oh, hold on one second, we're in a new contract. GCQ, we're on Q right now, folks. Uh, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what, you, what you have out here is that we rejected 1279 this morning. You're at 1286, and this is, looks to me like it's on the verge of basically going topside once again. And I like the setup, meaning where we are in the week also. Um, and what you have is that you have a lot of these uh, equities that look to me like they want to break topside. You know, an Eco Eagles of 41, let's see, Royal Gold. Yeah, the Royal doesn't look that great. So can I ask why you say that? You just say they look like they're going to break topside. Because without saying why, what is what is? I look at some of them and I see. What has happened is that you have been going sideways for a long period of time, like, like, like Newmont here, right? Now so why up versus down? Just as because that was my question on the last stock. I forget which one you were just looking at. Um, it just had a long consolidation. AEM. I think that was the first yeah. one I pulled and up. So I yeah. see that consolidation. But so, where do you see up versus down? As so in what you have is this. Okay, so you had you had pop top side on April twenty sixth. Okay, you have volume up here. That broke the downtrend. That you know, if you, if you yep. take if you take a look at this, that that broke your downtrend. Then you're building cause going sideways. Um, your first leg down. You can see this leg down here is at 1.4 million shares. Well, you're going into 1.6 million shares. You're going into one two two million shares. It comes back down again. 1.6, still all right. This pop up here last week we had volume. Okay. Last Thursday we had volume. Then you nice. back down with light volume. So it, you nice. know when I yep. look at this, it, this looks to me that the um, 
you know, you, yeah. you, you have some action here. The the dollar, if we go over to the dollar, this has been the, you know, the dollar index, no doubt would have to, to me, it would say that, okay, you, you have to reject higher price again. I must be on the wrong contract here, too. We'll see. A DX, uh, let me go DX, generic. Where's that DX spot, right? DX, Q. DXN. No. Well, I'm going to stick with the one I'm on, I guess. Um, the dollar, you know, bottom line still looks like it's uh, wants higher price. You know, so there's di that's divergence, man. You know, uh, that 98.260, um, that's game. You know, there's no volume up there, but we've been <laughs> dealing with this since last October, which is pretty wild, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're coming into June. You know, so. Um, and what you do have is that coming into the end of this week, you know, normally what ends up happening is that on Friday, the gold market can have some problems. Um, I don't expect that. Uh, let's just look at silver a second. So what, what silver did do is that silver saved itself. Silver, silver got trashed on Tuesday, came back inside its range, and silver is, has been the weakest you know, metal out here. So we'll see where this baby's going to shake out. Um, let's take a peek back at natural gas. Look at that. Yeah, so just kind of holding at those lows, 254. Would have been a nice trade on that bear side, risking 22, 25 bucks, and we're now at about almost 60 on that contract. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, we go take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at Amazon. So, Amazon, yeah, it's up $5. What you had with Amazon yesterday, folks, this is something to really keep your eye on. Now, this is subtle, but what we did with Amazon, because my, my take is that it, we're going lower in the marketplace, right? So this is the building cause to basically break this level. And if you, if you take a look at Amazon, what you're going to see is that you had some sellers out here on the 23rd, 4.4 million. You go higher with 3.2. And then yesterday, there's not a lot of movement, but you went 4.2 again. You know, that's telling me that this thing is building cause to come over here somewhere like 1736. So we'll see where that's going to shake out. The uh, this afternoon, let's uh, we'll go uh, Costco. COST. Yeah, you stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are gonna come right back and go through uh, DXU. Thanks, Peter. Appreciate it, man. Dow Industrials up 66, Nasdaq up 39, SPs up 15. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Uh, Dow. Dow's up 68. Nasdaq is up 39. S&P's up 15 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. You can find Jack every trading day, folks, at MajorLeagueTrading.com. That's MajorLeagueTrading.com. Jack Gleason, what's going on, brother? What's going on, guys? Over here, I'm actually uh, in my office right now, so I've just been trading no, no longer from home. I mean, I do trade from home and not, uh, now, but I'm trading with a uh, a friend of mine in uh, my office here, so back in Chicago, uh, no longer in the uh, Arizona desert. Weather isn't as nice here. It's raining again today, but, uh, you know, I think of a couple of different markets uh, that I'm looking at. Now, oil we talked about last week had a nice big breakdown, but huge came into a huge level that I've been waiting for. That, that support level had bounced off. I've had like a 5720 okay. zone. If okay. you look at the consolidation that we broke out of, uh, going back to February, I mean, there's you know a big you know call it a flag or a pennant, whatever whatever the term you want to use. Those highs going back to like February 22nd, 25th, uh, even into the beginning of March, retested so at 57, uh, 20 to 57 level. I was really really watching here, and then uh, so I took so I'm actually long uh, some gold right now as well, which is probably uh, I know that's, that's the one we always like to talk about. But uh, nice, if you guys look at the continuous contract, now do you guys chart on Thinkorswim usually, or what do you chart continuous on? Continuous contract in gold? Yeah, the continuous yeah, contract in gold. Yeah, so the low of the 21st um, to that high that we put in yesterday on the 29th, that 50% retracement here is at 1279.5 on the continuous. Okay. That had a really good reaction so far today, which also kind of filled the gap from the rollover to the Q19 contract. And so that would target on a continuation up to 1295.4. Uh, so I'm just looking for a, a day trade up here to 88 and a half here, which I'll be hopefully filled soon. Uh, but other than that, guys, this S&P, uh, one of the bigger levels I'm watching here is this halfway back short from the 50% retracement from the high of last Friday which is 28.42 to the low, which is 27.66 quarter. That halfway back, that divided by two numbers is going to be 28.04, which is actually just below last week's low. So I'm really paying attention at 28.04, whether we get up there today, possibly tomorrow. I see that as being a really heavy resistance level moving forward. It's also the close of that first breakdown day on Tuesday. So I'm really going to be paying close attention to that, but I don't really have much support to like, 27.40. So, unless you know the shorts really, really get squeezed here, I, I just see this market uh, trending lower. Yeah. So this is a new phenomena for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Millennial never traded a bear market before, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you no, know, I, I, seriously, it's pretty cool, right? I mean, that you know, that's the bottom line. You know, there's, there's always yeah, something moving I, these I, markets, you know. So. Yeah, I'm just so used to like trading on the smaller time frame compared to like probably most traders who are part of my generation. A lot of traders that I know, like you know, they kind of just trade the, the higher time frames and they only trade long. Or I mean, that's the only thing that works, especially if you're a stock trader specifically and you're swing trading. I mean, very rarely. Are you finding, you know, you're just betting against, betting against the market, the stock's trending down. There's gold popping up for me. It's probably because I jumped on the show. Probably. No, totally. <laughs> yeah, no, this, I like how gold, we were just talking about it before you get on. I like how this, this thing is setting up, man. Uh, you know, all you need now is the dollar to fall apart, which it hasn't yet. Uh, you know, it's sitting at those highs, the dollar index. But there's, you know, there's some, there's some action there. Because silver, what silver did, uh, you know, yes, uh, the day before yesterday, it rejected that lower price. I mean, silver was ready to jump off the cliff. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I haven't looked at silver in a while, but it's um, been a dog. I, I don't, don't look at it. It's <laughs> don't look at it. It'll bite you. Yeah. 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 Actually, is. silver's holding a halfway back long from the lows of Tuesday as well, so that's going to target up at least to 1449 here. I mean, that's pretty close to getting hit. I'll probably get hit today, but what I'm really looking for actually is all this oil inventory report to rip us up higher. I mean, what a reversal yesterday. We traded all the way from 59.40 down to the 57s, back up in the overnight session, getting up to 59.60. I mean, the volatility in oil right now, that's my go-to trading market. Yeah. Uh, just had a lot of range expansion, big, big reversal candle yesterday. So I'm hoping we can continue, uh, continue higher from here. I might be crying if we don't. Well, you're going to be waiting for these 11 o'clock numbers, right? Yeah, wait for, you know, it's funny. I was sitting there, and I, I forgot there at 11 o'clock, and uh, we were rolling around. It was uh, it was 1030, and I'm like, oh, all right, here it comes. Here it comes. And I was like, what's going on? Where's yeah, no, no. Uh, we've, we've done that. We've, we've done it, exactly. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And those gas numbers come out. That, that gas, uh, you know, yeah, it was like 115 line. billion cubic feet, so yeah. they were looking for 100. So you had gas pull back about two, three, four pennies. Uh, yeah, gave it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. I don't trade too much gas. You guys trade a lot of gas? It no, just seems no. like such a that, sideways. That's the widow maker. Don't trade it. We like looking at it on yeah. those inventory numbers, just like right. that. So that's right. usually Thursday, yeah. 1030 Eastern time. So we'll look at maybe uh, some volatility. But as we were just looking at it, I mean, it's been a pretty calm market for... Uh, uh, it's such an ugly chart. I mean, it yeah. almost looks like the VIX if you go to the daily, the way it popped in November on that big short squeeze. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not funny. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it's just, it's, it's, it's not my cup of tea. Technically, fundamentally, gas is the, just a strange cat, man. I mean, it can be like 10 below zero in the winter and gas still goes down. It's like, really? <laughs> yeah, so no doubt. The Widowmaker. The yeah, Widowmaker. That's, that's a fact, man. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Uh, this S&P is going to get interesting here because it, it looks like, you know, we just gave up like nine points. Um, with yeah, I, oh, no, I, I gave I up got, seven points. Gave up seven. Yeah, points. I gave up. Gave up seven. Yeah. I, you know, it's just if this thing can get back below the value areas for today. So value area high in the S and P is uh, let's see, it's twenty seven eighty five. If we start dipping back below into twenty seven eighty five later on the day, like we can't hold above that. We're we're gonna get swooshed, you know, at least back down to low seventies. Yeah. yeah. So that'll that'll be something to watch. Uh, Later, later uh, today, if it ends up playing out that way. But I'd like to see if we can hold above these overnight highs at 92. Maybe we'll get up to like 2804. That's what I'd be looking for. And then we'll see with that. You know, what's intriguing, Jack, is that if you take a look at the uh, the oil the continuous contract in oil in the S and P, you know, oil's <laughs> like a head of the S and P like about last year for about uh, about a week. So it's going to be intriguing. You know, if you take a look at that, you'll see what I'm talking about. Oil seems to, if oil's going down, S and P wants down. Oil's going up, S and P seems to want to go up. So it's it, you know, it's like okay, you know, I'm, I'm, it's pretty cool watching how that thing shakes out, man. So where this oil contract goes today, I think is going to be important in the market in general. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I can see it. I can see it definitely leading leading the move. I mean, there, you know, oil really started squeezing yesterday at noon, and then S and P kind of got that late day squeeze yep. uh, yesterday. So I mean, I think if we I, I do think I normally don't try to correlate those markets to, but in in this specific circumstance, I think you know just on a shorter time frame, if oil moves down, I can see the S and P getting below that value area, uh, high, and then rotating back to the bottom of value area low, which is 27.72 area. But uh, that'll that'll be the trades I'm looking at here today. 
Um, and then, you know, like I said, this gold, I really like the way this gold is reacting. That happened. Totally. Well, welcome back to Chicago, brother. Hey, I'll catch you guys next week. Take care. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking to next Thursday, Jack. And listen, folks, you can check out Jack every trading day at MajorLeagueTrading.com. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back, folks. Dow's up 41, Nasdaq's up 33, S&P's up 12 and a half. We'll come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is Dow's down 7. NASDAQ is up 21. S&Ps are up 7.5. They uh, just hit that market a bit. What happened? Negative territory for the Dow. Negative territory for the Dow. Watch out. And, folks, as you come over to our website, at TFNN, uh, you want to understand uh, this TAS Profile Scanner, a great piece of software. Uh, Steve Dahl, myself, um, June 19th. Yeah, listening to your guys' interview last night, three weeks from yesterday, right? I know. Pretty remarkable. So if you get in there, you at least get a month. You get a money-back guarantee for that month. You're, all, uh, you're only three weeks away, so you'll get to get used to that software. Exactly. Maybe you'll have some questions as you get into that. Um, so I encourage people to check it out right on the front page. Task Profile Scanner, great piece of software. You can get in there, $97 a month, 
And uh, again, there it's really amazing what they did with that software yeah, too. I mean, it folks, is. it's worth trying it. I mean, you know, guess what? Don't feel bad if you're just coming in and you want your money back at the end of the month. Yeah, that's why it's there. Because it, it's that powerful. That's uh, why it's there. It's, it's pretty. It's it's we really cool. We think if you get a glimpse of it, you won't want your money back. You want to keep it exactly. exactly. No, I, so don't feel I'm bad totally about trying it. Exactly. Yeah, right. Um, right. And you know, for a glimpse, so this is the order page you get to right from the front page. If you want to scroll down, you can sign up right there. Ninety-seven bucks. All right. Um, if you want to check out some more information, right here, click here to access the educational videos that Steve Dahl has put together. Yeah, they're really Great good. Great set of videos, man. Right. He's got a welcome message for you there, and then he just kind of breaks down the dashboard, the matrix top 10, scanning, filtering and sorting, right? Right. Um, Taz says it gives you basically... Um, it breaks down what it's saying in the charts in kind of paragraph form. I know. Right, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the boxes, the market breadth, man, yeah. it just keeps Market going. breadth's a big one. So the market breadth right now, folks, this is what's cool. Even intraday, you don't have to, I'm not encouraging intraday trading, but the bottom line is that you're going to see how that changes intraday, which sure. is really cool, man. Dynamic, you got it. Totally. Stay right there, folks. Uh, we got a uh, fast market coming up next. And I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Go get them, folks.